look at a quick dive into subdivision modeling. So you can see we have some sketches on the um, sketch planes that we're going to use to build from. So under the surfacing tab, you can go into the environment for subdivision modeling and you'll see that we have some primitives that we can start with. We're going to start with the uh, box command and you can see that we have uh, various options here. I'm going to use the um, by origin and I'm going to set the X direction to three for the segments, um, one in the other directions. And I also um, want to make sure that we've got the rounding turned on to start with. So setting the sizes, I want um, 205 in the height. I want to have 385 in the width and the depth. I'm going to switch back to 70. So from here, uh, we right mouse click to accept that. And then we can sort of um, just hit escape. And um, you can see from the um, side here that we want to have it angled. So if I fence select down the bottom, um, that selects all the bottom faces. I'm going to use the scale command. And as you see, um, we've got the um, triad here. Hitting the um, X key goes um, across planes. Um, sorry, Z key, and then the X key allows us to um, go across a single axis. So in this case, we're just going to go um, on the X axis. And as you can see, we can just scroll it in and out to get a rough approximation of what we're after. Um, alternatively, you can just type in a value that um, you want to sort of hardcore put into here. So um, right mouse click again to accept that. Now um, we want to split the uh, panels up a little bit. Um, you can select, um, so cage modeling, you can select either um, a vertex, a um, edge or a plane. And for this split, I'm going to use the um, planes. So we go into the split command and we want to um, choose chain. You'll notice that um, we just hover over it and it will select everything. And I just want to drop this down into um, one split. So right mouse click to complete that. Um, while we're still in the chain command, we want to um, split the top half. Um, if you notice, we go over to the left side it picks the chain down the left and if we go more to the center it's going to pick the chain across the top again we'll go um, one segment one split and um, switching back to the front view um, you'll see that we can actually just pick on this red spot and adjust where that's going to fit in um, it goes on a sort of zero to one um, scaling one being right at the top, zero being at the bottom. So I want to come in to about 0.65 to adjust that. And that should take me through to somewhere around the top of that screen, um, as you saw flash up. We can actually turn off the subdivision body and still see the cage. So you can see that we're in the right sort of place here. So um, after we've right mouse clicked to accept that, um, I need to just escape, so I deselect the bottom face, and then um, I can fence select this inner inner plane and use the steering wheel to just move that out. So I'm going to move this out, say about 65 millimeters, and hit enter, and then um, escape again, and do the same on the other side so that we've got that symmetry um, and that sort of aligns it up to the edge of the screen. Okay, let's turn the body back on again. And um, now I want to create the um, raised portion of the screen. So if we just rotate this around, um, when we do a selection, we can set the number of segments we want put in when we um, create that and um, we're using the um, the lift command here and just want to bring this up about five millimeters so that's now um, created that what we want to look at doing is um, just 
angling that in a little bit. So um, if we um, actually, I'll I'll bring this up another um, 25 mil, um, and doing it in two steps means that we have the um, extra um, positions vertexes in in here. So I'm going to bring it up about 25 mil. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to angle in the surface and that sort of then gives me a um, ridge on the top of the um, thing. So we're going to scale this time and we want to scale a, along a plane. Um, so if I just pick one of the edges, it doesn't really matter which one of the highlighted two, it's going to scale in both directions. And I just want to bring this in, say, about 0.9. And that just sort of moves that top edge in a little bit. And then if I escape out of here and um, sorry, right mouse click to um, complete that operation. So now um, we want to escape and use the um, lift option. Sorry, tip option, and we can drop that straight down. And if I hover over that point that we picked earlier on, we can sort of just give it. Um, actually, no, I need. Yep. Yeah. So we snap on that point there, and that sort of drops it down. So you can see that we've got that um, edge in there. And then when we go to the next step, if we um, bring that down and we want to make this one, just drop it down five mil to bring it back in line with where the original one was. So as you can see, we've got a nice sort of raised ridge around the screen and the screen would fit inside of there. So now we want to look at um, doing the um, cutouts, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and uh, define that we want to um, add symmetry. And you can see that um, it's cut out half of the cage. So anything I do on the left hand half now will be um, mirrored on the right hand half. So right mouse click to accept that. So um, just add in another um, couple of splits. So we'll start with the um, left hand portion. So as you can see, I moved over to the left hand side just to get that chain working. And we just drop it down to one, um, like we did before. Um, we want to um, take the um, center section and we'll split this and again with one and we want to just move those points down um, sorry across to uh, where that groove is at the top so we want one at the bottom and one at the top so we can just use these red spots to um, position these in So um, right mouse to click to um, accept that. Then we need to, um, we'll start with the uh, bottom edge. And um, if I just sort of rotate the view, um, I just want to pick the um, that bottom face plus the vertices on it. And I'm just sort of rotating it around so that I don't get the um, edge of the uh, screen. So I can do a fence selection, just um, move this over a fraction and you can see that we can sort of go through and pick up on, on those faces as you can see. Um, okay, so we need to just change our option to tip. That gives us the uh, nice sort of edge on there. And um, as you can see, I just click on the vertical arrow and drag that down and you can sort of see it sort of catch up 
and it's sort of acting on both sides. So we want to bring this down sort of somewhere in the region of about 30 mil. So I'll just type that in. And then once that generates, um, we want to look at doing the next step. So um, if I just fence select this or well, these two vertexes and the edge, I can ju just click on the um, steering wheel plane and that allows me to adjust this point up um, to get into a similar sort of orientation as the um, sketch that we've got. So going from here, once that's actually caught up, So we've got that positioned. And then if I um, look at it, the uh, areas in these three corners are um, a bit looser than what we've got at the moment. So I can right mouse click and go uh, blending, and then I can just individually um, select each of these three corners on the left hand side. And as you can see, you've got the blend um, size up there in the dialog box. So we can we can adjust that out and we can smooth it out by taking it up to a three. And then you see that it's sort of a lot closer to what we're um, actually wanting. So right mouse click will um, accept that change. So clicking on this plane here, we just need to um, use the vertical dimension or the um, steering wheel. And as you can see, that gives us a sort of a, a reasonable approximation of that notch at the top. And just put in a size and then right mouse click. Um, if the edges were not quite right, we could just fence select them again and change the blend on those individual rounds, but they look reasonably good for this example here. So just looking at the uh, finished product, you can see um, it's a reasonable approximation if we sort of just hide and show that other model. So here's a second example, um, a walkie talkie, and just going to use a few different techniques in this one. So um, going into subdivision modeling, we're going to use the box command, but I'm going to do it by um, two points this time. And um, I'm going to turn off the um, smoothing just because it's easier just to pick up on, on in this case. So I'm going to start off in this corner here and drop it down to this bottom edge. You can see it sort of coming in in the background. So if we move that over, rotate it round, um, I can just come to um, sort of gauge around where I want it to come out to. So we'll place that and right mouse click to accept it. Uh, notice that we've only got one um, vertex in the or one edge in the X, Y, and Z directions um, because it's easier just to sort of divide it up as I need to. Um, so we'll start with a split command and choose the chain. And I'm just going to take the horizontal um, and add a split in here. So if I um, just hide the um, body and we'll go back to our select command, I can just fence select these points here and just drop it down to the bottom of that sort of central rounded part and that sort of positions it in nicely for me. So um, from here I want to go and split this again and I'm going to use the chain and just select that top part and again I want to um, up this this time um, give myself more control points so I can get that rounded looking shape 
and um, sort of then right mouse click to um, finish that. So if we escape out, I'm going to go in and start um, fence selecting some of these options here. Um, as you can see that we're sort of just got that one edge and the two vertices. So I can just drag this out to a point where I um, sit sitting over the top of the um, sketch, the image. So we just go round and we sort of want to redefine that for the other points up here. And um, just make sure that you escape out before you select the next ones. And just bring that over to a point in here. I'll leave it out a little bit further because I'll sort of subdivide up that top area again later. Um, again, make sure that you exit out and we can then sort of come in and do the same on the right hand half of this um, model. Uh, the one above this looked to be about the right sort of size. Just a minor adjustment on this this right hand side as we're looking at it is reasonably square anyway so not a lot of adjustment needed. So um, just sort of go around and um, pick up on these items here. The one on the right is reasonably good so we'll leave that and we'll pick up on these points here. So that's the um, top half uh, from that plane. As you can see, um, we've got a, a reasonable approximation at this point. We can go um, put the blending on, um, select everything, and just put a uniform blending on. Um, you know, if we up that to say two or three, um, you can see that once, once you've done that, it actually looks quite um, quite reasonable. Uh, um, I'm going to leave that off for the moment. Um, there's still a little bit of adjustment uh, required in here. So looking at it from the other view, um, we just need to uh, sort of pull out the um, sides just to um, get the um, sort of rounded shape coming in the other direction. So um, as you can see, we've got uh, slightly more rounded on the right hand side than it is on the left, or the front instead of the back, whichever way you want to look at it. So just like we did before, we just go around and pick up on those um, vertices and edges and um, get the rough shape of what we're after and as you saw once we um, put the blending on anyway it sort of softens it all out quite nicely so that's the uh, front and the back um, as you can see the top and uh, top is still a little bit out so um, we'll split that so to do the split on a single face you pick the face and then an edge along which it's going to be split uh, we're just going to have the one in this direction and then um, we'll do the same on the other side. Just need to um, select both and again we'll just have the one split in the middle. And that allows me to sort of just to add in a little bit of extra um, control on this sort of top edge where it's um, going to be a lot more rounded. Um, as you can see we sort of got all the, all the points selected by doing a fence selection in that direction and then we just pull this up and that gives it that better sort of look and feel and we can make these adjustments in here as well and giving me that plane um, allows me to um, just sort of pull that out And as you can see, going in the other direction, it's sort of just gone a bit out of out of square. So again, I'll just um, do a fence selection on these points here and just drag them over to soften that top edge up.
and then the same on the other side just to pull that in So um, just looking at that subdivision body, um, we sort of need to get the contours down the bottom end. So we'll use the split command again, and um, we'll use the uh, chain option. And if, as you see, if I go over the sort of edge, it sort of picks it up. Um, like we did on the screen for the other part. Um, we use the dots to just reposition these in um, to a better better position for giving us our um, control. Um, so we'll right mouse click and then um, we can go through the process of just readjusting the uh, position of these points in here. Don't need to do the uh, next one, so we'll go straight down to the bottom edge and start pulling that in. And the same with the bottom right as we're looking at it. We just need to pull that in to give us that um, sort of rounded sort of um, display. Um, so likewise, we um, need to do the uh, other face. Um, as you can see, we've sort of got um, that bit at the bottom that we still need to do. And um, we need to pull out these sides as well. Just to um, control this, I'm going to add in another um, split. Just drop that down to one will probably be enough for what we want to do here and um, as you can see let's just turn off the um, body again so we just work with the um, cage so we can drop that into position and then the bottom edge is quite bulgy so we'll need to just drop them out to um, get that sort of profile that we're after and just some quick adjustments try that again just get the arrow rather than the um, torus so um, that sort of adjusted that bottom area um, and as you can see we've um, sort of gone a long way um, you know, if you're doing this for real, you may want to um, put a little bit more control in, but this does give you a reasonably good um, indication of what you can achieve. And obviously, once once the rounding's done, the sort of shape of it is lost a little bit. We can sort of tidy that up afterwards by doing the same sort of profiles changes that we wanted. So um, we've still got this base piece that we've got in here. Um, just get the right orientation on that. Um, as you can see, it's sort of angled in and then down again further. So we'll need to sort of just um, pull this bottom face out. So if we select it, use the lift command, which pulls the face out from the rest of the model and we'll just bring it down a fraction of the way for that first um, angled part and then we can go through um, and select the faces I'm only going to do um, two sides 
just to sort of give an indication. So position the steering wheel on that edge because we want to angle it in from there. So uh, we'll just pick up on the torus and just rotate it in. Remembering to change back to the tip option rather than the lift, which is why it was failing. And we can just put in a um, sort of size on there and just get that roughly about right. Then we'll do the other side as well. All right, just need to um, escape out of there and get the actual face rather than the edge. There we go. So again, position the steering wheel, switch back to the um, front view, sorry, the right hand view, and we'll rotate that up again. As you've seen that it's um, just dropping the height of that down a little bit. Um, so it's not quite um, as deep as it was. So um, I'm just going to um, fence select this and just drop it down so that we're um, now sitting square and I can use my key points to um, position this. So if I sort of um, get that right, uh, we're sort of all good. Um, so just to make sure, I'm going to use a key point and make that horizontal. Um, the reason I wanted to make sure it's horizontal is because I'll then want to sort of lift this out again. Mm, making sure that we um, have the setting right, so we want to lift it, not tip it. So we can just drop that down into here. And again, changing back to lift, if we position the steering wheel and go back to our previous view, we can use the um, torus to rotate this round to the um, angle that we're after. And we'll do the same on the other side. So, um, from here, hopefully you can see that, um, you know, we've got a model um, reasonably quickly and um, there's not too much that um, you know, if you think about it and how you're going to do it, it's um, possible to do some quite fancy stuff to um, get where you want it to be.